Welcome to Revlog, where we have emoji faces today. That's right. Exactly. Brian, what are these for? Hello. It's what, They're, sadder, sadder? It, it, it gets us talking about uh, our, our inner our feelings <laughs> inside that we often ignore. I noticed you didn't give me one. Yeah. I, I'm not really sure the you Apparently, there. you don't fit sad or sadder. <laughs> we have no idea where these came from. They were just on our chairs as we begin today. Um, and, and we might need some more content today because we have one verse. One verse. Acts 1.8 is it's our a good study one. for this. It, it's a fantastic, uh, the mission statement of many, uh, many churches right. uh, across the land. But yeah. we, are, we are in Acts 1.8. Um, which, which word do you want to talk about in this? <laughs> Remotest? Yeah. Shall. Yeah. Shall. So we're going we're gonna to go word by word yeah. as we talk about Acts 1.8. But Brian, oh my goodness, Aaron lost lost his phone, we're we're just all over the map today. (laughs) We're going to let Aaron regroup, Brian, you go first. Yeah, okay, great. So you read Acts 1-8 today. I did, I I read, I just just finished (laughs) reading it. What was Uh, your initial reaction as you read Acts 1-8 today? Well, you shall be my witnesses. I I have all my life thought about the latest uh, you know, the, the latest witnessing protocols, you know, what, whatever uh, systematic kind of witnessing program that the church is doing uh, currently. And I've, I've been a part of some doozies, I'll tell sure. you. Yeah. Um, but uh, but that, the, the reality is we need another kind of emo- emoji kind of thing for Aaron. Um, He's his own emoji. That's why he didn't get one. He just is an emoji. He is an emoji. Aaron is, is an emoji. Um, it, we are passive or active yeah. witnesses. And I, I was thinking about, um, the, and this probably gets in a little bit to the, the question later we're on. Not we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Okay, I, I will pull back. But I will say that um, our influence, because the... Jesus said the Holy Spirit will, will come in, uh, on you. And so it comes to the church. Mm-hmm. He comes to the church, the Holy Spirit. And there's a, a corporate presence of the Holy Spirit, I think, but also an individual presence of the Holy Spirit. We have power. Yeah. How are we using that? Um, and, and we're going to influence. We have almost, well, really untapped and unlimited power to influence this world. That's right. And and we will be witnesses passively or actively and we can we can be influences I think by by abusing or misusing our power we can turn uh, events and situations in ways that that we probably need to become aware of, but we're not now. And and we can we can do harm. Yeah. We we can you know the ch- people. There's no shortage of people who uh, can say, well, the, I, I was hurt by the church and so forth. And I think uh, we tend to dismiss that. Well, you know, um, often we say, well, give the church another chance, or you know, you're just being too hard on the church. I think I think um, we have a responsibility for how we treat people, because we have such great power. And uh, it, we cannot, um, we can't deny that the Holy Spirit has come. How are we using that power? So Yeah, no, that, that's good. And it's kind of like how we, we talk about the response time in the service, that everybody is going to respond that's to right. God in some way. Yeah, like, are, right. you, are you responding as you need to, or are you responding in a way that, that's passive and disobedient to that's the right. Lord, right? That's so, right. Kind of the same thing. You are a witness. Yes. It's, it's yes. how effective are you being in your witnessing uh, for the sake of the, the kingdom of God. That's right. I mean, you could, you could be a terrible witness and, and hurting the, the expansion and, and, oh, the, and the witness of the kingdom. Absolutely. Right? I don't think that can be understated. The, the, the idea of the Agreed. response, that mm-hmm. you are responding, right. and the idea of a witness is you are a witness. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. The, the question then becomes, you know, what kind? And so that's, that is... Man, both of y'all just jumping on the question. I, I know, here. I know. And I, I think Brian even tried to answer his own question before <laughs> I, he gave it. I did. <laughs> so I, I don't know... The existential <laughs> thing. Brian just lives up there in the what if <laughs> category. No. I love that about him. He's so meta. He is. He is, right. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, Aaron, what was your initial reaction to Acts so, 1-8? I just want to make sure that people know that I wasn't texting. I was actually looking on my <laughs> Bible app. Yeah, gotcha. So looking back at last week's, uh, and you know that we film a week early, so it's kind of where we are right now in, in John. One of the great secrets revealed. Oh, I, I did there. <laughs> Yeah. I love this in verse 34. I myself have seen and have testified to the Son of God. It's basically leading to where we are in Acts, Acts 1.8, mm -hmm. saying you will be my witnesses. The idea that, that how do we do this? So kind of to, to take off of what you're talking about, the, the, the witness schemes, if you will, or the yeah. protocols for how, how to do it, it's John saying very clearly in John 1, oh, well, I'm just going to tell you what I saw. Yeah. And I think that it's the most beautiful thing we co overcomplicate our, our witnessing. We do. All you need to do is talk about who Jesus is to you. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell you. And, and the, the, the idea then is you, we see Judea, Samaria, the ends of the earth. And in this climate right now we're in, we want to make a difference. We want to change the world. But, boy, if I haven't been talking to my girls, right? if I don't have if, – if April and I aren't talking on a regular basis about – you know, who God is and how we've seen him work, then you know, we've got to dial it back to say, let's start right now with the people that come into our lives every day. And, and let me just tell you who Jesus is to me. And, and let's start here. And then mm -hmm. that ripple will change the world. Yeah. When I think, you, you know, the call that, you know, if you're faithful in a little, you'll be given Amen. much. Amen. That, you know, if you're faithful to witness to, to those in your circle, you will eventually touch the world. That's right. Even the remotest parts of the earth even in faithfully, faithfully witnessing to those That's, near yeah. you. Peter Parker via Luke, right? It's, you know, to whom much is given. Yeah. yeah. Much responsi <laughs> great responsibility. I mean, it's, it's I think so. I somewhere know. in there. <laughs> yeah, maybe, some, I, maybe I went. Something like that. You know, actually, Peter Parker did cross my mind when I uttered the word responsibility yeah. here yeah. and yeah. Pow power and responsibility. <laughs> you can't help it. All right, so y'all, y'all have been all over the map today, already asking questions. Bring, bring. It was just uh, one uh, verse. I mean, we. <laughs> I, I, I know, but now, now we got to get to the point where we would normally say, Brian, what is your question? Have you already asked it? No. No. Okay, so no. give us the. Have you already answered it? I no, I haven't. <laughs> okay, well, what, I have what is neither your... asked nor answered. So Acts one eight. What is I'm your? I'm neither what is the, the question? a prophet nor the son of a prophet. Um, I, I would say this, um, if I'm a witness. Am I okay in front of other people having questions that I can't answer? And, and, I, and here's what I mean by that. Um, if I'm a witness, I don't have to know everything. Correct. And, and I think there is some beauty in vulnerability. That's right. And if I say, like the man in John 9... You keep asking me these things. I don't know. All I know is I, that's right. I was blind and now I see. Amen. Yeah. And I invite people in. Some, I can even invite people into my uncertainty and say, let's look at this together and see what's ahead here. And if I think people would appreciate a, a little vulnerability. Am I afraid of that? That's yeah, and question. it's kind of like where Aaron was going earlier, you know, if... If we tell people how we have experienced Jesus Christ, um, there's great truth and hope in that, even if we yeah. don't know all the answers. But exactly. I, I can tell you how I have met and experienced Jesus Christ. I do yes. know that. Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's, that'll preach, Brian. Mm. That, that'll preach. Blake Coffey did a sermon a couple of years ago, and it was called Witness Prep. I remember the, the title of it, mm -hmm. and just talking about how you prep a witness for trial. And, and one of the things that's that you, awesome. you talk about is, you, we're not interested in what you don't know. Yes, yes. We're, we're not. In, you exactly. know, the judge is gonna is gonna stop you. The, the the opposing counsel will stop you if you start to speculate. All you are are responsible for is what you know. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's that's our job. And we get into trouble, don't we, when we start to pontificate on you know all kinds of things that we don't even know what that's we're the, talking about. And ever it doesn't take is long. It, is this for confession? Some, well, it, it is. is this, it doesn't take long for somebody <laughs> to spot that. You know, you don't know what in the world you're talking about. Why should I listen to you? You know. <laughs> And, 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 and it's also important that we continue our study. That That's we right. Continue, Indeed. That's right. That, we, that we, can, we, you know, when I was a child, I talked like a child. It, yeah, it, it, there's, right. There comes a, a time that sure. we do need to grow in our understanding yes. of doctrine and theology and those important things. But, but truth be told. So. And, and our Savior will, I mean, we, we need to have the confidence in him that he'll take us along and grow us like that if we open ourselves up to him. But we just don't know everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So, Aaron, your question. Yeah. Yeah. In this climate that we're in, am I 
am I so focused on what's way out there that I neglect what's right in front of me? Mm. The idea of being a witness to those people that are hurting right here, right beside me. That's, that's have, true, right? Have, have, I missed, have I missed them because I'm so overwhelmed by the bigger narrative? And truly, the narrative that I'm responsible for are the people that God has put right in front of me. Yeah, in Jerusalem. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, no, that, that's exactly right. We would love to hear your thoughts on Acts 1-8. If you could help us answer these questions or if you have a question for Brian, uh, we'd love for you to comment below.